Hi friends, today we're going to make castanets. This is Colin. He's going to help me. We're going to start with an empty cereal box. You're going to get your mom or your dad to help you cut out pieces of your cereal box. They're about that long, that wide, and then we're going to fold them together. Can you show them what we're going to do with them after that? How do, how do you make them work? Yeah, eventually they're gonna clap together. And they remind me of little mouths. So we're gonna make monster castanets. Okay, so Colin, we've got, we happen to have all of this kind of random paper with cool designs on it. Um, and I thought maybe you might wanna pick out some paper for your castanet body. Awesome, okay. So take your castanet, we're gonna of course cover up the cereal side and figure out what you want to have on it and then stick your castanet under there, like put glue, I'm gonna take our glue stick and before you cut, we're gonna glue the castanet on and then you can just cut around the castanet. Okay, so glue your castanet on the back. Are you gonna do your own? You can talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. Let's see what happens if I kinda stick it up here near the corner. Move the markers, we don't need them yet. So I'm gonna glue it right up here in the corner. Then I'm going to cut around it like this. There we go. Are those your left handed scissors? No, they're crisper's, but they work for Can they make you work? Mm -hmm. Okay. Colin is left-handed. Okay, so here's my monster body. You might not turn it out too well. It's okay, it doesn't have to look. I didn't cut mine out exactly. There you go. I like it. I'll trim these edges off. Ooh, what about a black and orange monster? There we go. They're even now. Okay. Do you want to choose a different one for your second castanet? Oh, that's cool. Hold that one up. Let's see that. That's cool. Okay. Then... See, it's kind of like a tiger. Oops. I'm gonna glue it on the wrong side of the paper. Paper. Because we want to see the tiger stripes on it. You could use scrapbook paper or just plain construction paper or printer paper. Whatever kind of paper you want. If you just use plain paper, then you can use your markers or your crayons to draw on it. We just happen to have this paper. I don't know what it's for. Paper airplanes. <gasps> we had a paper airplane kit. Oh, that makes sense. That, yep, that would be cool paper airplanes. It is also very cool monster castanets. All right. So, the other thing that your castanets need, if they're monsters, is that they need at least one eye. I don't know how many eyes your monster will have. It might have one, or two, or five, who knows, but you need some eyes. If you don't have googly eyes at your house, you can always draw your eyes on with a crayon or a marker. That is just fine. 
How many eyes do you think you're going to put on your first one? Four. Four? Okay. I need two bigs and two small ones. Oh, two big ones and two small ones. Very cool. All right. Let's see. I wonder if these are the stick on themselves googly eyes or if, nope, we're gonna have to use glue for these. Let's see. They are, are these good sure? No, I'm not sure. Are you finding something to peel off? Sweet. So the big ones are. Is this one? Yep, the little ones are too. We've done it before. You'll see. You just gotta get the little crack. There's still a white background. Uh huh. So you have to find the little white part. Ooh. I'm always talking about how you're gonna need your mom or dad's help with this, but I think I need my kids' help with this. <laughs> I can't get it. Did you stick that one down? No. Maybe I'll have better luck with a big one. You know what you can do? What? Take a scissor, just poke it in there gently, and get a hole in there, and pull it off. Pretty smart there, buddy. Buddy. All right. One eye for me. <laughs> All right, what'd you say? So take a scissor, poke a little hole. Oh, I see. And it raises it up. Awesome. Didn't poke a hole in the back. It just raised up on the front. Okay. There. He's got two eyes. No, the little <clears throat> ones do not stick. Okay. So you have to use your glue stick for that. Boop. It's a glue stick. Here we go. All right, this monster just has one eye. Nice. <laughs> oh, it fell off. Hmm. We might need some different glue for that. A glue dot. I don't know if glue dots are something everybody has lying around their house, but they're very useful. All right, so put your oh, yeah. eye right on the glue dot and it'll grab the dot. There you go. We're also gonna use our glue dots for the inside of our castanets. Now, let's see, what else can I give my monsters here? I think I will give my monster some teeth. I'm going to cut out a little piece of orange out of that same paper. <laughs> Show the, there you go. And I'm going to put, Wee. all right. I'm going to cut out little triangles or big triangles for teeth. That's convenient that. Why? What makes that convenient? Mouth, eyes. Oh, it does look like a mouth, except that it's going that way, and he's going to be this way. So, what else do you want to do to your monster? I'm putting out little spikes. Ah. So, I'm just taking a piece of washi tape, and about the length of my, or width, I guess, of my castanet. And I'm gonna put my teeth right on the edge of this tape. And then you'll see how the teeth can stick to the castanet. Did I think this through? Hold on, hold on. Mom. What? I need to turn the teeth around. I had them the wrong way. I want them to be orange, so the orange side needs to go up now. Oh, okay. 
So let's see, I'm just taping them right on the inside. Then I could even bend them down. Burp, burp. Ha <laughs> ha. What do you think? Wow. <laughs> and let's see what else. Oh, we've got some pipe cleaners. Pipe cleaners are good for, what do you think I'm gonna make out of my pipe cleaner? I don't know. Where's my other one? I, oh, there it is. An antenna. Oh, yeah. So I curled it around my finger and now I am just gonna get my scissors and snip it off. I'm gonna take this end, hold it, and then I wrap it around my finger. How'd you do your cheese? I put, if you put your tape, put your, lay your tape down right here. There you go. And that's right. And then put the other one. Okay, good. Now, you may not have enough tape for a third one. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to you. Just a little more tape to cover that third one. Okay. Now, you're gonna tape it right on the inside. See, there's his eyes. And you're gonna tape oh, it like this the way, on the top. Way. And I got it. I'm gonna trim that off. Here. Oh, okay. So they're taped just like this on the top. And then when you close it, you can bend them down a little bit. You don't wanna bend them all the way down because then they'll get in the way when you're clap, clap, clapping. Yeah. Okie dokie. Now, how am I gonna put my antenna on? Where are the bendish chair? See my antenna? I pulled out my two favorite colors. Pink and blue. I'm gonna use some blue washi tape. If you see, hold on. And I'm gonna take the end of my antenna, and just put the washi tape on it, and. I'm using bendy straws because I don't like to bend pipe cleaners because they hurt. And so I'm just doing this, see? Oh, that's so cute. The end of it bends like that. Nice. I'm gonna put antennas on this one. Okay. Yeah. I'll use some, let's see, green tape for here. So you see, you can get as however creative you want with your, the outside of your castanets. I think we're gonna need some real tape for this. You might, you might, yeah. You might have to make a little base with your tape around the bottom of the straw so that you have something to... Um, Hold on, I have an idea. Attach it to. Ugh, that was terrible. We'll see. There we go. Although that's not what he's going to sound like. There you go. <laughs> we'll have to work on that. I love the idea though. We might just need to, we might need another tool to, oh, I know. Okay, if you oh. want to use a bendy straw, let me show you on another one, okay? So, see how Colin is using the bendy end for the antenna? So cut a little bit above the bendy end, and then take your scissors, and you can bend it out like a little antenna like that. Then take your scissors 
and cut one little, two little, three little, four little, good. And then unfold the little feet that you just cut like this. I just did this. That works too. And then you have something to tape down. So that's how you can get your bendy straws on there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put in the noise making part. This is the part that makes it sound like castanets. What do you think that is? That's right. It's pennies. Okay. So, we're gonna use glue dots on our pennies. And our glue dots are little, so I'm gonna use a few. And, you put one penny in the bottom of your monster's mouth, and then you take another penny yeah, I really like this idea of the four legs. I get it. Is it working? No. Hmm. Ah. Okay. Well, we'll have to try. We'll have to try a few other things with the things. Then you drop your penny on the floor. No, don't do that. No. Yep. Skip that part. Then you take another penny. <laughs> I didn't see where my penny went. I'll get it later. <laughs> Take a penny and put on the glue dots. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. My glue dots are on this side. So oh, hold on. I it, see how I just set the penny glue dot side up and then make him eat it. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. So you have a penny on the top of the mouth and the bottom of the mouth and are you ready for this? What? I figured out what you can do for the bendy straws. Awesome. All right, so Colin and I are gonna finish up our castanets and then we'll come back and show you what they look like when they're finished. So here are our finished monster castanets. This little guy, he has tiger stripes and teeth and eyes and little bendy straw antenna. And then this one-eyed guy, he has pipe cleaner antenna and one eye. And Colin, let's see yours. Oh, tooth. Four eyes. Oh, look how he put the eyes. Here, let me get it a little closer. Look how he put the eyes on the antenna. So it's already looking at you. I love that. I think that's really cute. So grab whatever you have laying around your house and make yourself some penny castanets. If you want to make monsters like us, then make them monsters because later this week we'll have a new song for all of you preschool rock stars about monsters and you'll be able to play your castanets along with the song. So thanks for making castanets with us today. We will see you soon. Thank you, Colin. Dangle.